everyone, welcome back to Let's Talk. And today we're doing a very big project video for us. If you guys enjoyed the collection video of my Blu-rays, well, <laughs> let me just tell you, you haven't seen anything yet. Because Matt's wall of Blu-rays, which is usually in our background, we just completely redid it. We reorganized it, made sure it looked all nice and beautiful, so it'll be our new background. But Matt decided, hey, why not show off his collection? What did you do with this collection that is different from the way you used to do it? So I want to state that there is a couple movies missing. They went out on, uh, Dennis has them. He, 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 we lent him a few so he could watch a few to review for you guys. So that's a handful missing, but I don't think we'll miss too many of them. The, the one big one I would say is a Serbian film. That's like probably the only big one that's really missing. Not that that's a great movie at all, but I just... <laughs> that's one of our earliest videos if you want to check out our thoughts on it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so generally, we just... It took us maybe three hours to just reorganize this. We've been doing it all morning. And generally, I was just alphabetical order. I just all the A, B, C, D. That's how I did it. But I was... I found myself kind of losing stuff in there. And so we're going with a, a blockbuster type... Uh, organization now. So I went with action, then I did comedy, then we did what John would consider drama movies, into family, into, I have, um... A ton of horror. Yeah, a lot of horror, and then horror rolls right into sci-fi, and there's a couple little sub-genres within, and then superhero is at the end as far as, like, the MCU and Batman and stuff like that. And, um, I mean... I haven't looked for a movie in here yet, so bear with me. We're, we're gonna go each one now, the alphabetical order in each genre, as it should be. So it makes it a little bit easier to find. But uh, I mean, I just, like some of my favorite movies are sci-fi and they ended up on the bottom, which I don't love, but we'll see how it works out. Yep. And uh, yeah, so. Here we with, go. Without further ado, this is my complete entire Blu-ray slash 4K collection and with some DVDs sprinkled in at the end when we get to another shelf on the other side of the room. And this is what, July 9th, 2022. And uh, <clears throat> it'll grow from here, obviously, but this will be a, a, a benchmark, a base. Yep. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I went with documentaries first. So I have the Framing John DeLorean. This was actually really cool if you're into the DeLoreans. Uh, from the Back to the Future car. This was interesting, John DeLorean. Very interesting story. You should check it out if you're into that. Then we have the In Search of documentaries. So we have the In Search of Tomorrow, In Search of Last Action Hero, In Search of Darkness Part 1 and Part 2. And these are fantastic documentaries. All 80s and great. They focus on horror, sci-fi and action, those are the three genres they did, and it's strictly 80 to 89. Yep, and we have a review of In Search of Tomorrow on our channel, so check that out. But our full thoughts on basically everything that Creator VC does. And uh, the last two uh, documentaries I got is Never Sleep Again and The Crystal Lake Memories. This is obviously a um, Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the 13th documentaries. This is a double set. There's four discs in this thing. This is actually super nice. And there's a lot of information in here. These are both like four hour long uh, documentaries and this is some good stuff in here. And then this is Terror in the Isles. Now this is an old documentary. This is actually um, hosted by Donald Pleasant from uh, Halloween and a lot of the Carpenter films. So this was pretty cool. And it has like a lot of scenes from like the earlier horror stuff because this is pretty old. At this. So now we're done with the documentaries. We're gonna jump into action, and we'll start with A. So we got Harrison Ford in Air Force One on 4K. This is a pretty good 4K. That's a good movie too. Yeah, great movie. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of great movies and great 4Ks, we got Ambulance on 4K. We got a review for the film from me and a review of 4K from Matt on the channel, so check that out. Then we have the original Assault on Precinct 13. This is one of John Carpenter's early movies. My personal favorite of the two Assault on Precinct 13 ones. And this is the Scream Factory release. I know you like the Ethan Hawke one, but I'm not a big fan I of I like that. the remake better. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, All About the Benjamins. This is a Shout Select. 
Ice Cube and Mike Epps, these guys are fantastic together on Friday, so this is another great movie. I enjoy that one as well. Now this one you haven't seen yet, right? No. Arizona with Danny, uh, Danny McBride. This one was pretty cool. He, uh, it's like, they're in Ari obviously they're in Arizona, and uh, <laughs> it's like a new development, and he, for some reason, he accidentally kidnaps somebody that's trying to sell the house. He accidentally kidnaps the real estate agent, and it, it just, it, it's a wild ride, but it, it's pretty good. Yeah, I gotta check that one out. Yeah, good 4K. Um, we have the complete James Bond collection as of... Spectre. Spectre was the end, and these are all Blu-ray, not 4K, but it's got the complete collection, and that's pretty awesome to have, because those are pretty iconic movies. Yeah, Max hasn't even really watched any of those out of that actual set yet. Not all of them, nope. Um, no Time to Die, this is the newest release. Yeah, I love that movie. Check that one out. Good way to end the Daniel Craig collection. So this is the Bourne collection. This has got all the Bourne movies, which I've actually never seen. I just picked this up because it was a good price on Groove. I think I paid like $26 for this set on 4K, which is what, like you said, a pretty good deal. Yeah, I bought that last year for $60. And the only reason I got a release like that and knocked down the price is because Best Buy just released the Steelbooks of them all. <laughs> so this movie bent. Neither of us have seen this or heard of it. Um, I went on a kick at the dollar store and I picked this up for a dollar. Stars Carl Urban. Fans of the boys know him. Boondock Saints on Blu-ray. Makes me feel like doing some river dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Big Trouble in Little China. Great Kurt Russell movie. Yes, it is. Directed by John Carpenter. We got Bad Boys 1 and 2 on Blu-ray. Then Bad Boys for Life on 4K. Uh, this is a very nice steel book. It and really is. A fantastic 4K and fantastic movie. Then we got this little number here. Commando with Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's a, still a good Blu-ray. That, that. A Nicolas Cage joint. We got Con Air. That's one of my favorites. I haven't even opened that yet. That's the same Blu-ray I have. Very old. That old was... Blu-ray. Speaking of old Blu-rays, we got Crank. Yeah. Do you ever, I don't remember much. I just remember the battery hooks like battery cables. Well, yeah. Cables. The whole plot of the film is, is the only way you can keep himself alive is like basically oh. by adrenaline rushes at all times. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. I don't remember. That's just the Jason it's, Statham movie. There's a sequel to it too. That's is just, there? Yeah. It's pretty good. <laughs> uh, Collateral. This was a really cool movie to see Tom Cruise as the bad guy. Oh yeah. I love him as Vincent. He's awesome. Great 4K. Demolition Man. This is uh, one of the only Stallone movies I actually like. I know. It's, it's It's strange. I'm not a huge Stallone guy. No, we both aren't. Yeah, we're Schwarzenegger guys. And the last restaurant to survive is my personal favorite of all restaurants to talk about. Then we got, <laughs> then we got the Die Hard collection. This has got uh, all of them, actually. Yep. Yeah, only really three of them are worth watching. But, you know, if you want to watch all five. I like them. They're pretty good. Uh, Days of Thunder on 4K. Great 4K. Great movie. Um, one of my favorites, Robin. <laughs> you know how we love Tom Cruise? Yeah, as it's been pointed out, it seems like we have a crush on him. Dante's Peak. I remember watching this in high school and really enjoying it. I don't remember Dante's Peak at all. So, I, it has something to do with a volcano. I don't remember it. I just picked, this is a recent pickup. That's why it's not open and I haven't watched it yet. But I remember watching this in high school, maybe in like... Uh, I don't even know what class I would have watched this. Probably Earth science, science. Earth Science, science. Yeah. yeah. Probably Earth Science, because mm -hmm. Volcano, yeah, that's mm -hmm. the word of this for. But Earth? I remember enjoying it, and I'm a bit, I like Pierce Bronson. You know, Golden Eye is amazing. You are a big Pierce Bronson guy. I like it. Disturbia. I know you don't love this movie, but I actually really, really like this movie. Not sure why. The Expendables. You would think with this cast that this would be a great movie. Spoilers, it's not. Next up, we got our guy uh, Schwarzenegger here with your boy Stallone, mm -hmm. um, Escape Plan. Haven't seen it yet. There is a bunch of sequels, which I also haven't seen, but I picked this up for super cheap. Actually, I might even got it for Christmas. I don't remember. Um, I have a lot of unopened movies on here because I am a bargain shopper slash collector slash movie person. So even if I never seen the movie before, if it's at a certain price or it looks slightly interesting, I'm going to pick it up, I'm going to throw it on the shelf, and I'm going to eventually get there. Because when we're not reviewing stuff, I'll just stand here, I'll, and I like to make it like Blockbuster. I like to look for movies that aren't open and pop that in because I haven't seen it, and that's my system. It's very different from my system, whereas I usually grab the movie when I want to watch it. So like, if I don't own it, that's when I'll buy it. And it probably costs me a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. So, next up, Enemy of the State. Here's another unopened one. I remember seeing this a long time ago. I really enjoyed it. Uh, but I was very young, so I do want to check this out again. I mean, I love Will Smith. He's awesome, so... Tony Scott directed that. Love Did it. He? Yep. Gene Hackman. 
Oh yeah, it is Tony Scott. Love that movie. It's a great movie. Then we have Scream Factory releases of Escape from New York and Escape from LA. These are the Blu-rays. John has the 4Ks. Next, Face Off with Travolta and Nicolas Cage. I want to take his face. Oh! Next up, The Fugitive, one of John's favorites. Then we have Fight Club. Now this is a nice release. This is a pretty cool one. They are, uh, uh, I believe, and they started this with the DVD, but uh, the Blu-ray also. Uh, when you go into the menu system, "Don't be kissed" or "I haven't been kissed" pops up instead of the Fight Club menu. Next up, we have the complete Fast and Furious series. So I'll go through those pretty quick. The original Fast and Furious, that is a classic. That's then still. we have Too Fast, Too Furious. Then. Fast and the Furious, Fast Five, Fast and Furious Six, Tokyo Drift, Furious Seven, Fate of the Furious. Hobbs and Shaw was great. No, that's a lot of fun. Yeah, this <laughs> is a great one. Fast Nine, I mean, I enjoyed this one too. Now we got Gone in 60 Seconds. Uh, next up we got our first Tarantino film, Grindhouse. This is Planet Terror and Death Proof, yep. double feature. Planet Terror was directed by Robert Rodriguez. Next up, The Gentleman, Heat. Excellent, excellent movie. Uh, <laughs> the Hitman's Bodyguard. Um, it was okay, you know, it, it was alright. You would think Samuel Jackson and Ryan Reynolds would be a great movie. Same thing, The Hitman's Bodyguard's Wife or The Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard. Next up, we have Haywire. Next up, Into the Blue. Oof. Big, big Paul Walker guy. Jessica Alba, super hot. Great movie. A lot of water, you know, I love the water on the screen. This looks great. Now here's another one. This one I just watched recently, just picked it up. This is called IT with Pierce Bronson. Um, apparently it's got a horrible Rotten Tomato score. Nine percent. <laughs> I had a great time with this movie. I really enjoyed it. Like, I, yeah. you check this out because this this is this is a Matt movie for sure. I really enjoyed it. There was one scene. I, if, I don't know if you guys seen it. There's a scene where the guy's driving, singing in the car. That's a little weird. He's creepy, but it makes sense towards the end of the uh, the movie. Um, I liked it a lot. Next up, we have the Indiana Jones collection. It's a Christmas gift from me for Matt. Um, I gave it to him, I believe, on Christmas like four or five years ago. So, as you can see, he got great use out of it. <laughs> yeah, it's still, I, I left it sealed to preserve it and <laughs> keep it in good shape. I'm still bothered by that rip in the Blu-ray. Yeah, thing. I don't know how it gets ripped underneath Neat the, the plastic. <laughs> yeah, it's very strange. I mean, it clearly got ripped before, and they said, fuck it, we're still sealing it. <laughs> so that's what, that's the kind of gift he gives me. Yeah. One with imperfections. <laughs> um, so next up, we have The Island. Now, this is still sealed. This is early Ewan McGregor and Scarlett Johansson. I remember I had a DVD that I watched the hell out of all the time. I, I can't remember what movie it was, but this trailer was in it, and I still haven't gotten to see it yet. But I'll get there one day, and I just remember saying, that movie looks good, that movie looks good. And I'm a Michael Bay guy, so I can't even watch this tonight. Next up, we have the John Wick. This is John Wick 1 and 2 on 4K. These movies are incredible. And then John Wick 3 on 4K. Next up, we have The Kingsman, The Secret Service. This is Kingsman, The Golden Circle. Now this one, this one I'm embarrassed, but I have Kill Bill Volume 1 and Volume 2. And they are sealed because I haven't seen them. Next up, we have King Kong. Next up, we have the Lethal Weapon 1 through 4 collection. I love these movies. They are good movies, great movies. Die Hard's better. No. Next up, we have The Last Action Hero with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, here's another recent pickup from Groove. Uh, got this for. Um, maybe 20 something dollars. This is the Mummy Collection. It's got the first three. The Mummy, The Mummy Returns, and The Mummy, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. All on 4K in a nice little set. Uh, Midway on 4K. Great movie by Christopher Nolan, Memento. Yes. Fantastic I, movie. I love that movie. Uh, then we got the Mortal Kombat Collection. Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 2, Mortal Kombat Legacy. And I bought this for Spawn because I like Spawn. And Mortal Kombat's okay. Uh, now, the new Mortal Kombat, again, I think I paid 10 bucks for this. This was on sale. Haven't watched it yet because a little underwhelmed. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, great movie. Angelina Jolie, Brad Pitt, Mayhem. Uh, great movie. Then we have the Mission Impossible collection on Blu-ray. Then we have Mission Impossible Fallout on 4K. Then we have the Men in Black trilogy on Blu-ray. Then we have the Ocean's trilogy. Now, I absolutely love Ocean's 11. Ocean 12 is okay, and Ocean 13 is... Good. Was that one good? It's good. That that one, okay. It's better than 12. Maybe it's 12 good. and 13, I get mixed up. It's been a long time. 13, they go back to Vegas, and um, I kind of, it's 
Not as good as 11. Then seven. we have Ocean's 8, which is okay. I still haven't seen it, if I'm being honest. Now we have Point Break, which we talk about a lot because this is an amazing, another. fantastic, perfect movie right here. Yeah, that's another big one for us. <laughs> then we have the remake to Point Break, which you should stay away from because this was not good. Uh, Poseidon. I like disaster movies. I like water. I like chips. This is, this is a map movie. Now, again, <clears throat> I'm a sucker for a deal. And I remember John saying this was a great 4K, First Blood. Oh yeah, it really is too. Not a huge Stallone fan still, but I have every single Rambo movie unopened. <laughs> and uh, maybe one day I'll get the itch to jump into Rambo, but you know, I think I paid $7 per 4K, so it was a great deal. I had to pick them up. I think only First Blood's a good movie. The rest are serviceable. If you're a Stallone guy, they can probably go further for you. Uh, now this next one is Rampage with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Um, now I was a fan of the game on the Nintendo 64. I didn't see this in theaters. Uh, I don't remember why I bought this. I bought this so long ago and I still have not watched it yet. Uh, now here's another dollar store pickup. Now this one's interesting. This has Tony Todd of Candyman and... The Rock fame. The Rock fame. And Final Destination. Um, James Duvall, I'm not sure who that is. Unless he has some kind of relationship. But the other, the other big name in here was Mark Hamill, Luke Ooh. Skywalker himself. <laughs> I love so, I have not seen this movie, but I picked it up for a buck, and I will eventually get there. Next up, we have Smokey and the Bandit 40th Anniversary Edition. This is an amazing movie. I love the Trans Am. I love Burt Reynolds. We have Shaft on 4K. Because uh, we are currently in the 50% off Criterion sale mm -hmm. right now over the summer at the point of making this video. So this was a recent pickup. Haven't seen it yet. Next up, Angelina Jolie in Salt Speed. That's a good one. And then this. This is an amazing movie. This is... Big, big, big fans of Speed here. That great was a 4K. Great perfect age book. when that came out. That, oh, yeah. that was my first Keanu experience, believe it or not. It was that playing Speed? Um, probably me too. So when I think of Keanu, most people might think of like young Keanu, Bill and Ted, but I always think of Speed. Yeah, I would say Speed of the Matrix. Yeah. Uh, next up, SWAT. Uh, I was a big fan of this movie when I was a kid. I don't know why, but I really enjoyed this. Um, you know. Colin Farrell and Samuel Jackson, Michelle Rodriguez. Isn't that a young, uh, what's his name in there too, uh, who plays uh, Hawkeye? I'm trying Jeremy to. Jeremy Renner. Right? Jeremy Renner, isn't yeah. he in there too? Yes, he, he is. He'd be pretty young there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. He is in this movie, and so is LL Cool J. Yeah, I remember LL Cool J, that's for sure. Yeah, Jeremy okay. Renner's the bad guy. Yep. I mean. <laughs> uh, now, here's another dollar store pickup The, le the Standoff at Sparrow Creek. Uh, I know nothing about it. It's an RLJE movie, so I do like a lot of RLJE stuff. So this has the potential to be a good movie. It's got a nice slipcover, and I only paid a buck for it. So next up, we got Top Gun. Ugh, very 4K, by the way. Oh my god, Tom fucking Cruise, baby. Yeah. We've been talking a lot about Top Gun on this channel lately, so... <laughs> yeah, this is an amazing we movie. We can't add to it. We cannot wait to get Top Gun Maverick on 4K. Oh my god. I still want to do a shirtless review. Yeah, I don't know about that. All right. Next up, The Town. Now, this is on 4K, too, right? I own the 4K steelbook of that. Is, okay, is it a good upgrade? It's a good upgrade. Um, it's not the greatest upgrade, though. And that was out of print, the 4K, for a while. Jeremy Renner's in this, too. Yeah, he's great in that, too. Um, he's in it, and you got Ben Affleck directed that and starred in it. It's great. This, this came out around the time of Inception, also, right? I think they were a year apart, yeah. Because I remember getting them pretty close to each other. I do enjoy the town a lot. Now, speaking of early Blu rays, back to Jason Statham, we have The Transporter, Transporter 2, and Transporter 3. These were uh, some pretty cool movies, fun rides at the time. Up next, we have Tomb Raider on 4K. This is a great Tomb Raider movie. I don't know if you've seen this yet. No, because I wasn't a fan of the originals, even though I heard that's the best of them. This is the best of them for sure. This is more along the lines of the reboot uh, game. And I, I like the Angelina Jolie ones, which I have right here. I like them too. They're fun. They're not bad. And Angelina Jolie, she, she's smoking hot. Next up is Takers. Uh, this is a recent pickup for me. I, just, I haven't seen this yet, but I like Paul Walker. He's in this. And there's a few other guys in here that I like. Uh, I, and it says, as cool as Ocean's Eleven, which I'm a huge fan of Ocean's Eleven. 
So, I'm going to check this man out. Haven't yet. I don't know if you've seen it. No, I haven't. Nor have I heard of it. So, I'm interested, though. I did see a trailer for it the other day, too. Did you? Yeah. Uh, Matt watches Twister. the trailers. Well, yeah. Sometimes I, I, when I watch the, put the old movies in, I'll throw the trailers on. And I find a lot of stuff that way. Really? Sometimes yeah. good, sometimes bad. That's how I, I found frustrated. Hay <laughs> Haywire, IT. Well, Haywire is bad. That one, I, I got burned on that one. Uh, IT, which I really enjoyed. So, you're 50-50. Well, yeah. All right. That's not bad. Um, <clears throat> Twister, Bill Paxton. Mm. Oh, love that movie. Love, 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 love this movie. Yeah, that would be a nice 4K. This needs to come to 4K. Yeah, we just can't. <laughs> this, this. this has to come to 4K. <laughs> Next up, Tenant, 4K. Uh, watched it. I need to watch it probably six more times before I understand it. That's about yes. what Nolan movies will do, yeah. This is the definition of a Matt movie. I absolutely love oh, yeah. this movie. <laughs> Taking a Pelham 1, 2, 3. With Travolta and Denzel Washington. That's Scott. James Gandolfini. Uh, James G Gandolfini. James Gandolfini of uh, Sopranos fame is in this also. He's the mayor of New York. <laughs> I can't think of a bad Travolta movie. No, I mean like, but there's a lot of people who are gonna knock Swordfish. I know you're a big fan of it. I knock enjoy it. Swordfish. Yeah, really. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm telling you. No. <laughs> yeah. Are you serious? No, I like Swordfish. That's a surprise to me because I absolutely <laughs> love Swordfish. Next up, Universal Soldier. Um, Amazing slipcover. Haven't seen the movie yet. I'm. That video might be out before this one. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we might have a video for this already, because but I haven't done it yet. But uh, slipcover. Amazing slipcover. Uncharted with um, Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg. I was pleasantly surprised at this. It's a great movie and a great video game to go along with it on, Forgot about on the game. PlayStation 2. This was a awesome movie. Love the oh, Warriors. Oh, I love the Warriors too. Wanted. Angelina Jolie at her finest. And to round off and end this action section, we have Triple X and Triple X Return of Xander Cage, which I haven't seen the second. Um, I like the first. I uh, This was like riding the coattails of the Fast and Furious because Vin Diesel was big at the time from Fast and Furious. So I think that's what kind of sold this movie. It's not as good. It's it's okay. I remember liking the DVD when I was young. Like you said, when Fast and Furious came out, I think they came out either the same year or the next year. Right. I bought the DVD and just couldn't wait. We, we actually haven't said it yet, but we're going to be breaking this up into three parts because the top shelf took forever and we got six more shelves and a rack to go. So Yeah, in between filming because it only lets us film ten minute segments at a time and we edit it all together. But in between one of the the pauses, we were like, hmm, we're 30 minutes into this and we're still on the first shelf and we haven't even <laughs> left the first genre yet. Yeah. So this is going to be a pretty long video. I think we're going to drop it into three parts. Where, so we'll have action and comedy. Comedy and we'll the documentaries in the beginning. So documentary, action, comedy ends on this shelf and then we'll start another video. I think we're going to drop them all on the same day. So if you're watching this, look for the other ones. Yeah, well, but probably. if we change our shirts, that's what happened. If we change our shirts, yeah, it's because we didn't film it in the same day. And uh, But we'll probably make a playlist, make it easier for you to find it. Yeah. So, starting with A in our com Actually, no. Starting with numbers in our comedy is 21 Jump Street. This movie is hysterical. Oh, I love I, 21. I love these movies. And 22 Jump Street. I actually really don't like this slipcover. Really? I was just going to say, I kind of like the slipcover. Because it looks like a college, like, you know, kind of like sweater. Yeah, I don't really like it. I don't, I, it looks like a Christmas sweater of some sort. I'm not sure what the connection was to that. It's not a college, I assume, but I really don't. Yeah, I don't know. 21, 22 Jump Street, great movies. They're on 4K. I didn't feel the need to upgrade myself. Comedies don't need to be on 4K, in my opinion. Unless, if it's, they don't need to be upgraded to 4K. If you don't own it yet, sure, go for the 4K. Mm-hmm. Uh, 40 Old Virgin. This is an old Blu-ray, which I actually just got recently from Groove.com. Uh, so this one, I've had this in my collection for many, many years. 50 First Dates with Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore. Now, this has a 4 dollars sticker from FYE. This is still sealed. Um, I just haven't felt the need to watch this. I think I probably just picked it up because it was 5 bucks. It's not a bad movie. I like it. I enjoy it. I just hasn't really jumped out at me yet. We saw that in the movies with my mom for my birthday one year. I do remember that. <laughs> then we have the American Pie collection. I've seen one, two, and three. Fantastic, funny movies. Uh, American Reunion, I have not seen yet as, as of the recording of this video. I've seen it. It is pretty funny. I actually think it's better than American Wedding, personally. 
So here's another pickup that I picked up on a sale day, I think, from Amazon. This is still sealed. This is Animal House on 4K. Uh, I've only seen bits and pieces of this movie. I've never seen it in its entirety. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to like it because he says that he doesn't think I will. But. I think it's... We're a little too young, I think, for that one. Like, we were more into the 90s and 80s comedy. That's late 70s, and I think it's just, just a little ahead of us. And now we have the one of the greatest comedies of all time, the Ace Ventura <laughs> 1 and 2, when Nature Calls and Pet Detective, these movies, Ace Ventura, Jim Carrey, at his peak. These yeah. are... These are our comedies. This uh, is what we grew up with. The... <laughs> That's why I think you'll like Earth Girls Are Easy. Accepted. This movie's hysterical. This is a pretty recent release on Blu-ray, actually. Yeah, surprisingly. Yeah, this was... Uh, Maybe within the past year or so, this just came to Blu-ray, and I'm very glad to have it in my collection, because I love this movie. Ah, I love Accept It, too. Can I ask you about my wiener? We're shitheads. <laughs> Anchorman. Will Ferrell. Oh. This is... Oh, my God. That's a movie I quote all the time, too. Oh, my God. Will Ferrell, <laughs> he had a run, man. man. It's just one of those movies. And, and... I wrote it in my diary. Veronica had a very funny joke today. <laughs> Anchorman 2. Now, this, again... Hysterical movie. Will Ferrell, Steve Carell, all of them. Great movie. I love the Anchorman series. Yeah, yeah no, seriously. Anchorman 2 gets a bad rap, but it's fun. Then we have Austin Powers 1, 2, and 3. Uh, I don't really like Goldmember. I mm. like the other two. They're the first one is by far miles ahead of the other two. They are hysterical. Uh, it's hysterical. I absolutely love the first one. Then the second one's okay, and the third one is just... Uh, I agree with all that. It, it's watchable, but it's... Yeah, Goldmember, they went a little too far. Now, another recent release to Blu-ray is the Beavis and Butthead Do America. And again, this is something I'm super happy finally came to Blu-ray. There's a few more movies that I have on DVD that I still haven't been able to upgrade to Blu-ray because it doesn't exist. But this one does finally, and I love this movie. Big Beavis and Butthead fan. And if you haven't seen it yet, you should check out Beavis and Butthead Do the Universe because that was hysterical. That's on Paramount. I thought they were going to make that movie like too smart, but that movie is ridiculous. They kept it right in line like it was made in 90, like whatever. Yeah. So I remember a short story. I remember me, you, and my father went to Chili's and then went to see this in the movies together. <laughs> and then when that dick came on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> And Harrison Ford, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> He'll get the fuck out of my face, whatever he says. When he makes the people furniture and he has like, oh, was it Jennifer yeah. Lopez or yeah, someone yeah, coming yeah. in? Like, like, oh, just take a seat. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that movie, he's a sicko. <laughs> he really is. Beer Fest, this is a funny movie, good one. Those are the Broken Lizard guys, right? Yes. The guys who did Super Troopers? Yep, yep, yep. The Big Lebowski, this was a recent pickup for me on 4K. Yeah, I'm, I don't know if Matt's seen it, but I love The Big Old Bowser. I have seen the movie, I just haven't watched the 4K yet. Okay. Next up on another 4K I haven't opened is The Blues Brothers. Now, I know my dad likes this movie a lot. Um, I've seen it before, but I just I picked it up on sale, and I just haven't felt the need to watch it yet. Not a personal favorite of mine, but it's okay. <clears throat> then we have the Beverly Hills 3 movie collection. Yep. This is a great collection to have. Although they are in 4K, which John has upgraded, I still only have the Blu-rays. Well, the only two Beverly Hills Cop movies that should exist are on 4K. Next up, we have Blockers with John Cena. Um, this movie, surprisingly, was pretty good. I enjoyed my time with it. It's pretty funny. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. John Cena, when he's in comedies or Peacemaker or anything, when he stays in his lane, he is perfect. He's good, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Speaking of great comedies, Martin Lawrence, oh, Blue yeah. Street. Come on, this movie is absolutely hysterical. Dave Chappelle's in this movie. I I love this movie. This is one of my all-time favorite comedies. Oh, yeah, no, I love Blue Street, too. That, that was a big one for us growing up. Speaking of all-time favorite comedies, Bad Santa. Oh, yeah. Uh, big fan of Bad Santa. Bad Santa Part 2, still a pretty good movie, but can't touch the first. No, you can't. I'm glad they got the kid back in the second one. <laughs> uh, here's one that surprised me. A Bad Mom's Christmas. I took my girlfriend to see this in the theaters, and we had a great time. Um, the first, I think I've seen Bad Moms. The first Bad Moms is good, too. Yeah, Honestly, it was. It's a good couple they're, movies. They're, they are good movies. This is a great movie. Think now I'm a huge, huge, huge South Park fan, so I had to get Trey Parker and Matt Stone's movie, Basketball, and this movie is amazing. I, I it's, it's hysterical. And I actually think they're releasing, I, if anybody could put it down in the comments, because I haven't been able to confirm it, 
I saw on Best Buy there's a new release of this coming out. I just, I'm just i not sure if it's a new scan or not, and if it is, I want to pick it up, but I haven't even opened this one yet. But I, I love this movie. I, I saw think it was that. on streaming, yeah. so I, I watched it on stream. Yeah, uh, Dale Earnhardt makes a cameo in that too, which is actually pretty cool. <laughs> Next up we have Billy Madison. This is one of Adam Sandler's best movies ever. Yeah, no, that's and that's my wife's one of her two favorite movies ever. She loves Veronica Vaughn. She is one hot piece of ace. <laughs> Next up, we have Coming to America on 4K. This is a great 4K and a great movie. Then we have the sequel, which didn't get a 4K release, but there is a Blu-ray on this. Yeah, I like the sequel. It's not as good as the first one, but James Earl Jones' uh, funeral where he's still alive, uh, that gets me. <laughs> this movie, Chips. This movie was hysterical. I had a great time with this. This is a great comedy. Yeah, Matt's been telling me to get on Chips for a long time. I love the main guy in that, actually. What's yeah. his name? Uh, Dylan Shepard. He is yeah. great. Yep. <laughs> Next up, Dude, Where's My Car? This is a classic. Oh yeah, that was another big one for us. Another classic we got is Dodgeball. Ah, Ben Stiller and uh, what do you, uh, Vince Vaughn. <laughs> Joni loves Chachi. <laughs> yeah. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody. Next up we have The Dictator. This was a recent pickup. I haven't watched it yet. Um, I heard this movie's not great, so I'm I'm sure I'm on the fence, but I picked it up for like two bucks, so I wanted to check Sasha it out. Sasha Baron Cohen. Uh, that has a Blu-ray re release, but yet somehow uh, Borat doesn't. Yeah, well, I, Borat needs to come to Blu-ray, at least. Uh, this is Doubtfire. This is great movie. Robin Williams, he is a genius. I absolutely love this movie. Classic. No, I agree with that. Then we have the, probably the greatest comedy of all time, in our opinion, is Dumb and Dumber. Oh, yeah. Uh, come on, you can't touch this movie. I don't know what I, I, I can say about this movie that hasn't been said. This is the best movie in the comedy genre. Oh yeah, by far. I that's another one. I I'll just I can run that movie through my head. I don't even need to see it anymore. <laughs> okay, now burn that. <laughs> now this is Dumb and Dumber Two. <sighs> so this one caught me by surprise. Um, Days and Confused. I absolutely love this movie, but I was very surprised that Criterion put this out. I guess it's a pretty important movie. Richard Linklater made it. He's a very you know prolific director. But it's it's. To me, I, Criterion stuff doesn't really stand out to me. I, I don't pick up too much Criterion stuff, but this is super nice, and this was one of their really nice releases. Like, this is an awesome slipcover, and it's a great package. There's a booklet in there. This is an awesome release. Yeah, Criterion, like, you know, they, some movies cross mainstream, a lot of them are, you know, smaller, unknown movies that deserve a bigger following at their release. This is a recent pickup and a recent addition to the Blu-ray, um, Evolution. This just came to Blu-ray recently, and I just picked it up. This has got Sean William Scott. But the main reason I picked this up was for um, David De... I don't know how to say David Duchovny? Yeah, from... And the X-Files. X-Files, Fox Mulder. Yeah. So, I had to pick it up for my boy Fox. <laughs> nice of you to support him. I'm sure he needs the money. Next up, Fanboys. If you haven't seen Fanboys yet and you're a Star Wars fan, Please, 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 go watch Fanboys. This movie is hysterical. If you're a Star Wars fan, it makes it a hundred times better. Even if you're a Star Trek fan, because Seth Rogen in this movie. Yeah. Is, that's but, a movie you put me on to. I, but I love this, that movie. This pretty much cements what we've been saying is Star Wars is a hundred times better than Star Trek. <laughs> and they really drive that to the ground here. I can't really say if Star Wars is better than Star Trek because I really have seen almost no Star Trek. <laughs> There's only one return and it's of the Jedi. <laughs> Fist Fight. Charlie Day, Ice Cube. Funny movie. Not great, not terrible. I agree. Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Ah, that's a good one. This is an amazing, amazing <laughs> comedy. And the, this is a great Blu-ray. It looks really great. The, the nice blue uh, water in Hawaii. Great movie. Holds up so well. That's an old Blu-ray. Old Blu-ray, amazing movie. Yep. Next up, Friday. I am a huge fan of the Friday series. Mm -hmm. Really, really love it. I really need them to put Friday After Next on Blu-ray because I need to complete my collection because I have Next Friday right here. And these movies are just, I love these. I, I really like Friday After Next. I don't know what the hate is for Friday After Next, or, or at least the company making the Blu-rays. And here's another criterion, which I'm very happy to have, is Fast Times at Ridgemont High, which I actually think I might like over Dazed and Confused, but I'm not sure. It, it, it depends on the mood, because they're, they're, they're similar, 
And I, I really, really like this movie a lot. I love Sean Penn and Judge Reinhold and that, you know, it's a great movie. Yep. Next up, we have the Family Guy trilogy on <laughs> Blu-ray. This is the parody of Star Wars. They basically, the first, I mean, the first one's amazing, the second one's good, and the third one's okay. And they just did a fantastic job. I mean, they basically, word for word, they just tear Star Wars apart. But he, they are Star Wars fans at heart, so it, it's it, it's all in good fun. They, they have a great time with it. Yeah, really if you can't make fun it. of yourself, what can you make fun of, you know? Especially things you love. Then we have The Great Outdoors, which I have never seen, but it's got Dan Aykroyd and John Candy, so it's got to be a good movie. It's a great movie. It's a really funny 80s comedy. I truly enjoy it personally. Next up we have Get Hard with Kevin Hart and Will Ferrell. This movie was hysterical. Will Ferrell gets, uh, he's going to jail for something, and he hires Kevin Hart to get him hard to go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was all right. Kevin Hart's movies don't really hit that much with me. I think he's a better stand-up comedian in my opinion. I like opinion. Kevin Hart. I think he's great. Good Boys. Um, the trailer made it look better than it actually was. Wasn't great. Wasn't terrible. Yeah, that one actor in it, the one you got, Jake something, uh, he's really good, especially in the movie Room. So speaking of Sarah Marshall, uh, Get Him to the Greek. This didn't really connect to Forgetting Sarah Marshall. However, I think it kind of wrote on the coattails of it because it's not as good, but I think it, Forgetting Sarah Marshall was still fresh and they were like, oh, these guys are doing another movie together. Let's check it out. So it was okay, but it wasn't a... This is the one with Puff Daddy in it, right? Yeah. And rubbing the walls. Yeah, what's yeah. his name But after they take the drug? What's the main actor's name in it? Um, Russell Brand. Russell Brand. No, Russell Brand. Um, yeah. Him, like, because he wasn't really in too much, but it's the same character from Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Yeah, 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 that's the connection. Yeah. Next up, this was another dollar store grab for a buck. God Bless America. I know nothing about it. It looks like an action comedy. Um... I know nothing about it. Picked it up for a dollar. Now here's one that I have watched a million times, and that's Hot Rod. I didn't know you've ever actually even seen Hot Rod. Oh, I, I absolutely love Hot Rod. Oh, I love Hot Rod too. <laughs> yeah, no, Hot Rod's amazing. I love this movie. This movie's hysterical. I haven't watched this Blu-ray yet, but I, but I don't remember. I've seen this movie a, a handful of times, and yeah, I love it. Oh yeah, no, that's a big movie for me. I love that movie. I love that they do the jump on the radio. Yeah. <laughs> Next we have a very Harold and Kumar Christmas. This was a pretty good movie. Oh, I think all the Harold and Kumars are pretty good. Yeah, I just, I just rewatched them around Christmas. I actually watched Christmas and then I, me and Faith went back and we watched the first two because we just wanted to see them again. Uh, horrible Bosses. I had a great time because I, I really like it. So do I. I like the sequel too. Yeah, Horrible Bosses Part 2. There you go. Here's another new release on Blu-ray, which thank God because this is a great movie. I love Half Baked. Dave Chappelle, one of my favorites. Yeah, Half Baked is phenomenal. Take me to Samson, all right? <laughs> Speaking of favorites, we got Happy Gilmore with another uh, Happy Madison Adam Sandler joint. Now, there's a handful of Adam Sandler movies that just haven't made it to Blu ray yet, and we can't figure out why. Little Nicky. Um, Grandma's Boy is not. Adam Sandler's not in it, but his boys are, so... It's his productions company. Yeah. Happy Madison, Happy Gilmore, Billy Madison. Next up, we have How High. Uh, I haven't seen this in a long time. This was a, I just picked this up recently. I haven't watched it yet. But. Met the Man in Red Man. Yeah. I, I knew about that movie just because it'll show my age. Is I knew about that movie before I even listened to a Wu Tang album. <laughs> <laughs> Fall Pass. Um, I don't remember hating it, but I don't remember loving it. It's been a while since I watched this. Now, what I do remember is The Hangover. Uh, this is I love this movie. It's hysterical. This this was a big movie at the time. Do you remember seeing that in the movies? I think so. Yeah. That was a disappointing movie experience because I really? could, I could barely hear it. I had to go see it again the next day. You were pretty upset too at the time. I don't know if you remember, but I we don't. could we could barely hear it. I don't know if they had something wrong with the speakers, but it, it, it wasn't hidden. Yeah. I don't remember that. Uh, Hangover Part Two, not as good, but still a great movie. Funny. I got some laughs out of it. It's the same movie. <laughs> then we have Hangover Part Three. Um, um, it was okay. The giraffe thing made me laugh. Not gonna lie. Hot Tub Time Machine, which I also just recently picked up because I don't know if this is... I missed this because it wasn't out of print for a while or something. I don't know. I had trouble finding this on Blu-ray. But uh, big fan of Hot Tub Time Machine. What that for $5 in a supermarket? You did? That Blu-ray, yeah. No shit. Yeah, weird. <laughs> uh, Hot Tub Time Machine 2, haven't seen it yet. I'll get there one day. I haven't seen it yet either because it's missing John Cusack. <clears throat> I love you, man. <laughs> um, I remember picking this up. 
when I still worked at Game Crazy, so this is years and years ago. Uh, it's an okay movie. I remember me and you watched it. We made garlic bread. Yeah, it was funny. Give me everything you got! Give me everything you got! Yeah. <laughs> uh, Impractical Jokers the movie. One of my all-time favorite, favorite comedies is Joe Dirt. Uh, I'm not, I mean, I guess I like David Spade, but Joe Dirt. I fucking love this movie. This movie's hysterical. And a killer soundtrack like we oh, talked yeah. about all the time. Skinner! <laughs> Got some Eddie money on there, Long Island boy like us. Oh yeah. <laughs> Joe Dirt 2, not as good. Then we got Jackass 3. Notice Jackass 1 and 2 are not in the collection on Blu-ray because they don't exist on Blu-ray and that needs to be changed ASAP because those movies need a Blu-ray release. However, Jackass 3, still pretty good on Blu-ray. Then we have Jackass Forever. This is a new release on Blu-ray. We have a review for that on the channel. Very early review on the channel, so if we don't seem like we're clicking yet, that's why. <laughs> uh, Kingpin on Blu-ray. Haven't seen this yet. Haven't opened it yet. Have you seen the movie at least? Nope. Oh my god. That's a big Bill Murray movie for me. Uh, the rest of it's okay, but Bill Murray is Next, great. Next, King of Staten Island. Uh, knocked up with Seth Rogen. Great movie. I've been in the mood to rewatch that. It's a style. I'm not gonna fuck you like a dog. <laughs> I love that they're making fun of the guy with the beard. They're like, <laughs> All right, Martin Scorsese on Coke. Land of the Lost. This might have been somewhere around the beginning of the end for Will Ferrell. <sighs> yeah, I, I, I told Matt earlier, that was one of my biggest disappointments in the movies ever. That was a big one for me. I was hurt. <laughs> yeah. Let's Be Cops, however. Um, haven't seen it yet. Heard good things. I also heard good things. Damon Wayans Jr. is the star of that, so you know, I love his dad, and he's pretty good than the other guys. Next up, Liar Liar. Uh, big Jim Carrey fans here. Uh, I've grown to like this more and more over the years. Yeah, that movie, that was a big one for me and my mom and my aunt Stephanie. We loved it. We still say, the pen is blue. <laughs> the goddamn pen is blue! <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of Jim Carrey, we have The Mask. Oh yeah. Another great, great Jim Carrey movie. I remember every single preview on that VHS. <laughs> and Jim Carrey yet again with me, myself, and Irene. I don't remember much of this movie. I haven't watched it in a very, very long time, but it's been in my collection for a very, very long time. That is very, that is a very funny movie, and I always get compared to the albino in that movie because, you know, Casper and obviously myself being an albino, same shit. So. Yeah, well, <laughs> shoe fits. Yeah, so uh, my cousin stuff. Vinny. Oof. I love that one. Great movie. Masterminds. Another great comedy. Um, this, is, this is a funny movie. Yeah, Matt's been trying to get me on this. This is another one where Matt's been saying for like five years, you gotta see this movie. Yeah, no, this is a good one. Now here's one John turned me on to, MacGruber. Uh. Um, <laughs> He worked at, like, he said this was the funniest movie of all time. It's I watched one of the it. It's funny, <laughs> but it's not the best. It's not the funniest, but it, it was good. I uh, think it gets more funny with rewatch, with, you know, yeah, it's maybe definitely rewatchable. Time, maybe next time I'll enjoy it more. Next up we have Meet the Parents, the whole Fokker collection. This has one, two, and three. I've never seen the third one, the Little Fockers, yet, but one and two, we were big fans of. Next up, Mike and Dave need wedding dates. The Nutty, Pro um, the, uh -huh. the Nutty Professor collection. This is a Shout Select. Um, so this has part one and part two in it. And, you know, Eddie Murphy is a genius, and he does every character around that dinner table. He, he's the entire family. It's amazing. Yeah, he's acting against tennis balls. <laughs> Next up, we have Neighbors and Neighbors 2. These were pretty good movies. I enjoyed them. They were pretty funny. Next up, National Security. I love Martin Lawrence. I love this movie. This is a great one. This is a classic. That is a really funny movie. Uh, Steve Zahn's great in it, too. <laughs> it's just a good movie. He's trying to kill me. Here's a great Christmas comedy, The Night Before. I get this and Christmas Office Party mixed up a lot. You know, it's funny. I get them mixed up a lot, too, but I know which... They're very similar, and they came out around this a very similar time. But yeah, but it's a good movie from what I remember. It is good enough. I think it was Michael Shannon who plays the drug dealer, and that's great. <laughs> so here's a new uh, release on Blu-ray. This is The Night at the Roxbury. This just recently got a Blu-ray release as well. Holy and Dynamite. Um, this movie gets better with age. Next up, Office Space. This is one of the Deadpool uh, slipcover special editions. I really enjoy Office Space. I just rewatched that recently. Holds up, especially if you hate your job. Uh, old school. Come on. Will Ferrell. <laughs> Great movie. Matt was the best man at my wedding, and he quoted that speech from that movie. And that was Two about teeth. the best. Yeah, that was about the best he did for just the rest of the speeches. No size. <laughs> the Other Guys, Will Ferrell, another great movie. This was towards the end of his run, I guess, right? But I'd say it was of the, of the highs, the high, yeah, it's like this 2010. Is, this is in the highs of Will Ferrell. Michael Keaton's great in that movie, too. And speaking of Office Christmas Party, 
I think this is probably better than the night before. This this movie, I love this movie. This I watch this every year for Christmas. It's it's hysterical. That is a really funny one. Huge huge South Park fan. So there's another one from the creator of South Park, Orgasmo. Uh, so basically, he he's trying to I forget the entire plot, but he gets talked in. He was a Mormon and he gets talked into being a porn star, and it it's wild. Ron Jeremy's in it. It's crazy. Pineapple Express, another great comedy. Love, uh, uh, love Pineapple Express. That's another great one. Robin Hood Men in Tights. I uh, haven't seen this yet. I picked it up for real cheap. I think you're going to really enjoy that, actually, especially since uh, the star that you've seen in a million things, like Saw, Days of Thunder, so you'll definitely yeah. appreciate it. Role Models. This movie's hysterical. Paul Rudd. Love oh, that's an underrated movie. Yeah, super underrated. Super great movie. Now, one of my all-time favorites, Rush Hour. This is the complete trilogy. This is all three of them in one set, and I love these movies. There, so big Chris Tucker fan. Oh yeah, oh, definitely love them. Third one's all right, but the first two classics. Oh yeah. Big. Next up, Revenge of the Nerds. Here's another Deadpool cover. I think these, I picked these all up around the time when uh, Deadpool 2 was coming out, and they were part of their advertising. They were doing custom slip covers for a bunch of random movies. So I picked up Revenge of the Nerds at that time. We'll buy slip cover movies that we already own for slip covers. I did that a few times. This is another recent release to fork uh, Blu-ray, Rat Race. And I did watch this one when I got it because I haven't seen this movie in years and this movie is hysterical. I love Rat Race. Rat Race I really do. <laughs> yeah. It's a really good movie. Ride Along. This is uh, this is another good Ice Cube, Kevin Hart movie. Yeah, Ice Cube knows how to he stays in his lane. Yeah, I love really Ice Cube. So do I. I mean, he, he's perfect at what he does. Scary Movie 1, 2, and 3 on Blu-ray. The three best. Yeah. Yeah, by far. I mean, they, they go downhill after that. They honestly, from just top to down. I now, do you remember these movies, Shanghai Noon and Shanghai Night? I remember watching the DVDs with you in my stepdad's house. A long time ago, really? in the living room. Yeah. yeah, I remember seeing this in the theater. You saw them in the theater. No, I remember you I showing them. I, to I me. don't know if I seen both of them. I know I seen Shanghai Nights in the theater. I'm not sure about Shanghai Noon. I think that might have been like we might have been at like Blockbuster. You telling me that those were good, and then we went home and great watched movies. Them. Another great, great movie. So glad oh, this is on yeah. Blu-ray. Strange Wilderness. Oh my God, this movie yeah. is hysterical. I yeah. love it. I tried to find clips when we talked about it in one of our other videos. It's impossible. Like a, really? A, like a good clip that's not shitty? Yeah. <laughs> I just picked this up for two bucks the other day. Uh, sausage Party on 4K. Eh, it's, this was a huge disappointment. The trailer made it seem like it was going to be the funniest movie I ever saw. Yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't. Uh, here's a great 4K collection. This has got um, Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and... World's End, which I haven't seen World's End yet. The Cornetto Trilogy, as they call it. And uh, World's End is the weakest of the three, in my opinion. I think Hot Fuzz is the best. Uh, Shaun of the Dead is easily the best. Hot Fuzz is the best. No way. Okay. Uh, next up, <laughs> uh, Spaceballs on 4K. This is a Studio Canal release. Yeah, it's a pretty good movie. I know a guy who that's his favorite movie ever. Actually. Oh no, I'm sorry. This is not a Studio Canal. This is Kino Lorber. Next up, Super Troopers. Another amazing classic comedy. Can't say too much about it. It's the greatest. One uh, the Super Troopers 2, surprisingly, did pretty good. I really enjoyed my time with this one as well. And I still haven't seen it. Comedy sequels are really hard to do, and I think they did it here. It's weird that it's so hard to do that. Now, this one, I, I don't remember too much of it. I haven't watched it in a long time. It doesn't look good, but I also don't remember much. This is called Stan Helsing, and it's basically... A parrot. It's like they're making fun of Scary Movie, and it's all horror characters. And I don't know. I probably will not watch this again. As I said, big South Park fan. South Park, bigger, longer, and uncut. The movie, great movie, amazing movie. Love it. Yep, that was a big one growing up as well. But you know, we're big South Park guys here. Next up is Step Brothers. Now, this is probably one of Will Ferrell's best movie. Um, I love Step Brothers. I can quote the hell out of this. I know you can too. Oh it's yeah. Fantastic. If it wasn't for the Catalina wine mixer scene, and not even the whole scene, that movie would be a perfect 10 out of 10 comedy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Superbad. This is a fantastic comedy. I love this movie. Oh yeah, no, I love Superbad. That was one of the first movies where nobody wanted to see the movie with me, so I went and saw it alone, and I still loved it. <laughs> now this movie surprised the hell out of me. Stuber. Dave Bautista is in this, and this is a comedy about driving an Uber. I don't know what possessed me to... I think I must have saw the trailer. And this movie is hysterical. 
You have to check this one. Dave Bautista is a good actor, and so is Camille Nanjani, if I'm saying his last name right. He's funny as hell. I think this is a, a pretty recent release on Blu-ray also, and this is Starsky and Hutch with Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson. And <laughs> I love this movie. <laughs> Just do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> That's my thing. You gotta like kind of find your own thing. <laughs> <laughs> He accidentally does the cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next up, we got Tommy Boy on Blu-ray. This is a great movie. Chris Farley. Come on. This is what I quote all the time. New guys in the corner puking. <laughs> Tropic Thunder. This movie, I love this movie. This movie is hysterical. I confess to Matt today, I don't like this movie. I don't know what you dislike about it. I just, you know what it is? It doesn't click. I saw this in the movies. I try it all the time. When I was younger, I disliked it. The old, but now that I'm older, I really enjoy the hell out of it. I'm trying. I do love Tom Cruise in it, though. And Matthew McConaughey, actually. Next up, we have Ted and Ted 2. I haven't seen these in a long time, but I remember enjoying them. Ted 1 is better than Ted 2, but Ted 2 has a really funny deleted scene with the uh, the Knight Rider car. Kid from Knight Rider, you should really look it up. It's a really funny deleted scene. <laughs> um, Will Ferrell at it in his prime, Talladega Nights. This movie is amazing. If you ain't first, you left. <laughs> Shake and bake, baby. Next up, we have This is the End. This is... One of those movies where it actually worked with the huge cast, and I had a great time with this movie. This is fucking funny. I just rewatched this recently, too, and yeah, Jonah Hill is hysterical. The exorcism, is that really, is it gonna compel me? <laughs> <laughs> so this one is a bit of a surprise, and the only reason I have this on 4K, this is Van Wilder. Um, I didn't have it on Blu-ray, and I saw it pop up on 4K, so I said, oh shit, I'll grab it. But I, I generally wouldn't upgrade a movie to 4K if it's a comedy, but uh, this is a strange one to make it to 4K in my opinion. Ben Wilder is very popular. I guess, yeah, yeah, but I mean, I haven't seen it in a long time, but I upgraded from a DVD to the 4K. I didn't have the Blu-ray in this. I would say that's what put Ryan Reynolds on the map, honestly. It's an old movie. It's yeah. just strange. 2001, I think? Wayne's World 1 and 2. Ah, oh, classics. Both Great movies. This is a strange set. Like. Uh, they don't do them like this. They do double features in a single case now. That is a strange looking set. Next up, The Wedding Singer. Mm. Speaking of Adam Sandler. One of my favorite Adam Sandler movies personally, actually. I love that movie. Another Adam Sandler, The Water Boy. That's another funny one. Then we have Waiting with Dane Cook and Ryan Reynolds. That's another early Ryan Reynolds movie. This is an early Blu-ray. I love Waiting. We saw that in the movies. It's a great movie. It is a great movie. I love that movie. Speaking of great comedies, We're the Millers. I really like this movie a lot. That movie is really good, and I believe that one kid with the red hair is going to be the main villain in the MCU coming up, if you can believe that. Really? He got jacked. And I'm talking more jacked than me. If you can wow. believe that, yeah. Next Crazy. up, Wedding Crashers. This is a definitely a must-see for any comedy fan. Oh yeah, Vince Vaughn at the top of being Vince Vaughn. Then we have Walk Hard, The Dewey Cox Story. Watched that last weekend, actually. Uh, holds up, it is one of the funny. <laughs> John C. Riley is perfect as <laughs> Dewey Cox. Dewey Cox has to well, play back his whole life before he goes on stage. <laughs> <laughs> Your Highness, uh, I actually, I don't know if I've ever seen this, but I love Danny McBride, James Franco, and Natalie Portman. I mean, it's gotta be good, right? I've seen it, I don't remember it, if I'm being honest. I think I might have watched it high. <laughs> Big <laughs> fan of Zoolander. I love Zoolander. This movie's hysterical. Oh. Super glad to have this on the Zoolander right. is a classic. That gas station scene, you know, with the price of gas, I'm just throwing gas around like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Zoolander 2, haven't seen it yet. Can't speak on it. No, I haven't seen it yet either. I'm, that's, I'm afraid to. Honestly. And to finish off comedy, we have Zombieland and Zombieland 2 Double Tap. Oh uh, yeah, great one. I like these movies a lot. So before we end, so like in this the beginning of the video, we started with the documentaries into the action, into the comedy, and at the end of comedy, I put, like, I'm a big Kevin Smith fan, so I put all my Kevin Smith movies in between comedy and then drama, because I, I feel like that's kind of where his movies land anyway. So, I'll go through the Kevin Smith movies real quick, and that'll be the end of this video. So first off, we have a triple pack with Chasing Amy, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, and Clerks. Clerks is obviously the first movie that he's ever made, and that's really what made him big. I love Clerks, actually. It, that was something that didn't work for me when I was a kid, but it grew on me as an adult. I think it's more adult-oriented. So. Yeah, I love Clerks. <laughs> Mallrats, 
this is the Blu-ray release, and then this is the Arrow video of Mallrats, which I haven't watched yet, but I, I, Mallrats is a great movie. I love Kevin Smith movies, and this was an awesome, awesome set that they made, so I had to pick that up as a Kevin Smith fan. We're big Arrow video guys, and you know, obviously, if you're a fan of the movie. Now, I have Dogma on Blu-ray. Um, this one seems to be somewhat of an expensive movie to find because I believe it's out of print. It is. It's. I wanted to buy it. I'm not spending. I think the last time I looked, and it's been a couple weeks, maybe that reprint. I don't know, but it was like seventy bucks that you yeah. just find. No, yeah, this is a hard one to find, and it's really not one of the best movies of his either. It's weird with Kevin Smith. He's an acquired taste, but yet he's super popular, and it's weird that his movies aren't like more readily available. Now, one of the more popular ones is Clerks too. I remember seeing this in theaters. Clerks is probably the best of the series. That and the James Labs. Uh, <laughs> That and Jane Silent Bob Strike Back and the reboot, those are the, I think, for me, those are the ones I like the most, but I would I would say Clerks are probably the most popular. I think Clerks 2 is my favorite of all his movies. Just, I love it. <laughs> now, this one has no connection to the other ones, but this is Zack and Miri make a porno. This movie is amazing. I, I love this movie. It's, it's hysterical. It really is hysterical. I'm a big fan of that movie, too. <laughs> Perfect cast. <laughs> now, this one's strange. Bruce Willis and Tracy Morgan in Cop Out. This is a Kevin Smith movie as well. Uh, it's not bad. I actually really liked it. It was pretty funny. So a little story about that because it's kind of sad now that Bruce Willis can't act anymore. Him and Kevin Smith had an issue where Kevin Smith said that Bruce Willis was phoning it in, didn't care, or nothing like that. And now they've made up, you know, in the sense that, you know, Bruce Willis has gotten sick and they don't want to have any bad blood between them. But next up is Red State. And this is uh, out of left field for Kevin Smith. This is not really generally something he makes. And it was a pretty good movie. It wasn't the best. It wasn't terrible. You know, it's, you know, he, it, it was weird, but it was okay. It, it was watchable. If you're a Kevin Smith fan, you might like it. Now, this is the one Kevin Smith movie I have not seen yet, and that's Tusk. I have it. Haven't seen it yet. I like Tusk. Did you? Yes, I did. I know no, a lot a lot of people did. It's a weird movie, don't get me wrong. But I like weird movies, and this kind of yeah. worked for me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen this one yet. Now, this one gets a pretty bad rap. It's not the best, but it. I don't think it was as bad as everybody makes it, and that's Yoga Hosers. This is his daughter is mainly the star. And it wasn't the worst movie in the world. I don't know why people hate it so much. I don't get it. I haven't seen it, but, you know, it's weird to hate it. And now I have a little story about this one. This is Jay and Silent Bob reboot. So when this movie came out, Kevin Smith went on tour, and he went to all these cities around the country, and he put the movie in not it wasn't a theater they did them in like where i saw it was a, a concert venue hall and you, i sat on folding chairs they put it on a projector we watched the movie with a whole crowd and at the end of the movie kevin smith came out on the stage and he answered a bunch of questions and it was really cool and seeing it was like seeing a marvel movie almost because it was all kevin smith fans in the theater so when certain people walked on the screen or certain things happened, the whole crowd would pop and it was a great time. It was really the best way to see a movie is with true, true fans of the film and the, the director. Yep. I haven't seen it yet, though, which is a shame. I wanted you to come to that with me. I did. I, you did. And I didn't. So I'm sorry. But guys, that's going to be the end of part one. Please, if you want to continue or wait a couple days, whatever you want. We know they're pretty long, but click ahead. 